An investigation is underway into the death of a man in police custody and saying thanks to Paul University serves up a feast to the firefighters who battle a blaze on campus. Plus, Angela's forecast next on News 8. A little more than a month ago, more than 150 firefighters from more than a dozen departments helped put out a fire at a historic rector hall on the campus of DePaul University. Well, tonight, those same men and women gathered again on the DePaul campus, this time for a different reason. News 8's Shanna Kelly joins us now. Shanna, what brought these firefighters together tonight? Well, Mike and Debbie, it was really all about saying thank you to the men and women who not only saved Rector Hall, but more importantly, saved the lives of the students who were inside the dormitory the day of the fire. <laughs> Check each other out. Check your entry tools. They were heroic. Uh, we went through the fire without people getting hurt. We saved the building, and writing a simple thank you letter just didn't, didn't seem to be enough. Robert Bottoms is DePaul University's president. He, along with other thankful school administrators, are serving up more than food for these emergency workers. We didn't want to send a note saying, go have dinner on us. We wanted to serve dinner to the firemen. They're serving up gratitude. And to live in a small town and have the kind of assistance we had, and to have the kind of hometown fire department we had, we feel is, is really a blessing in this size uh, city. The community is a very tight-knit community, and we come together when there is a tragedy within, within Greencastle or in Putnam County. And and I'm very proud to live in the community, and, uh, and so should everyone else. But fortunately, the ending here was not tragic. Books, computers, classwork, items all lost inside Rector Hall, so what can students do now? No one was seriously hurt in this fire, and historic Rector Hall will be rebuilt. To bring all emergency responders that responded to this scene to, into one location and have a huge dinner like this is just unbelievable. Now, the university is still in the process of settling with the insurance company, but once settled, they will rebuild Rector Hall. They expect the dormitory will be ready for move-in by the fall of 2003. Until then, the university is building some apartments around the outer edge of campus for incoming students. Mike and Debbie. Shanna Kelly, thanks.